Uh, doctor, you you hit on uh, the third leading cause of death in the United States, yeah. and I'm sure most of us could figure it's either heart-related or cancer or uh, uh, diabetes, things like that. Can you clue us into what that is and why? Uh, yeah, okay, and thank you for asking that because this is the 10,000-pound gorilla <laughs> in the room that nobody's talking about. The third leading cause of death, as published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, is MD-directed treatments. This means you go to a medical doctor, an MD, he gives you a treatment and you die from it. According to the United States Department of Health and Human Services, 15,000 15, Medicare patients a month are killed by MD treatment. And nobody goes to jail. A handful of terrorists fly two planes into the <laughs> Twin Towers. 3,500 people die and we go to war. But 15,000 people a month are killed by medical doctor treatments, and we don't bat an eyelash. This is because we have been, I don't want to say brainwashed, that's not the correct term, but we have been, for the last hundred years, um, kind of led into this false belief, you know, I think it was Marcus Welby that started it that the medical doctor is king and knows everything about everything. And really, you need to just shut up and follow your medical doctor's advice. Most people in the United States have no idea at all of the history of the evolution of medicine in the United States. In the early 1900s, it was a relatively level playing field between the chiropractors, the osteopaths, the homeopaths, and the MDs. In 1915, 1920, there was something called the Flexner Report. The Carnegie Corporation funded this man named Abraham Flexner. He went all around the country, and t he went on stagecoach and train and horseback. This was before the interstate highway system, right? It took Flexner five years to do this. He went all around the country and did an inventory of all of the medical schools that prescribed drugs. He brought the list back to the Carnegies, who owned drug companies, and then the Carnegies and the Rockefellers gave millions of dollars of free money to the medical schools and hospitals in the United States that were prescribing drugs. That was the beginning of the end. After the Flexner Report, there was no more level playing field in the United States. And the MDs started a juggernaut that's taken off. Most people in the United States think that the predominant medicine here, MD-directed pharmaceutical medicine, we think that those guys are top dog because their therapeutics are better than the homeopaths or the naturopaths or the chiropractors. It's not. They're in the driver's seat because of political and financial coalitions that were built at the turn of the century that most people have no idea of at all. And it's a gigantic problem. And, I, I mean, it's crazy, right? It's the third leading cause of death. And yet, when the government makes noise about messing with people's insurance, everybody freaks out. Mm -hmm. And that's a whole other thing to talk about, isn't it? Because what is medical insurance? When you buy medical insurance, what are you doing? You're betting that you're going to get so sick, you will not be able to afford it. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Right. And then, so you pay good money every month to gain access to a system of medicine that's the third leading cause of death in the United States. We need our heads examined, quite frankly. That's why we give... Dr. Wallach and myself, collectively, we give 400 free lectures a year. And we're building a grassroots network because people don't know this. I mean, people, I come to my lectures and they look at me and say, couch potatoes live longer? <laughs> Medical doctors are the third leading cause of death? You know, what's going on here? We're, mm -hmm. like, we're like the people, uh, you know, in Galileo's time saying, hey, everybody, you know, it's the sun that's at the center of the solar system, not the earth. Well, hey, everybody, the earth is round, it's not flat or, Hey, everybody, slavery's a bad thing. Right? This is a... We're, we have a social agenda here. Why do we have a social agenda? Because people are suffering needlessly. You wouldn't believe. As God is my witness, you would not believe the things that I've seen people recover from in holistic medicine. It's, the body's ability to fix itself is remarkable. Most of the time, all that the body needs to do that 
is the raw materials that it needs to do that. And we need to stop eating food that's hurting the body. You know, if you put diesel fuel in an unleaded engine, even if it's a brand new Ferrari, it's going to run like crap if it runs at all. And there's nothing wrong with the car. It just had the wrong fuel. Mm -hmm. It's the same with the human body. You give the human body the raw materials that it needs, clean up the diet, Superman, Superwoman. And, you know, if you don't get the super status, then at least your blood pressure normalizes, at least your arthritis goes away, mm -hmm. at least your anxiety and panic attacks go away, and you can sleep through the night.